G'day guys, so we're back now to Power's Galley and we're going to cook up that Rocky that we shot earlier today. Um, our favourite way to cook it, whole, deep fried on a bed of rice with a sweet chilli dressing. Okay, so very basic ingredients. You'll need some sesame oil, salt and sugar. We'd use that to rub on the Rocky at first. And then just a bit of egg white, followed by corn flour to dust it in. And then we like to deep fry it in rice bran oil, uh, a few spring onions, and then just top it off with a bit of salt and white pepper. Even though this Rocky is dead, it can still spike you. So just be careful when you're scaling. So I like to scale from the stomach up rather than turning it upside down and running the knife this way because you will can cop a spine like this. Now I'm just going to put a few slices in the body so it helps it cook evenly. Cut down till you hit that backbone. Okay, so just chuck that Rocky into a bowl there and I like to get a little bit of sesame oil and just drizzle it on the top of the fish. And then what I like to do is I've got 50-50 salt and sugar mix here. So just rub that all over the skin. Get in the chest cavity here. All right, so now that's done, we get our egg white. I'm going to coat that in the egg white. Pour out that excess uh, water there. Now we need a bit of corn flour. If you have potato starch, even better. And uh, be real generous. Don't be scared to use half a jar of corn flour on this thing. You want it to be completely dried up and soak up all of that corn flour. So we'll see how we go with that. Make sure you get it in all the cuts and slits and in the belly there. This, so this is going to make it crispy, give it that nice crunchy batter that the seasoning and the sweet chilli is going to stick to once it's done. And all these fins on the Rocky, once you've fried it properly, they just turn into like little crisps. So crunchy, you can eat everything. You can even eat the dorsal spines, which would normally spike you. Okay, so we've coated this Rocky until it won't take any more corn flour. You can see it's nicely coated there. So now the secret is to make this super crispy. It's not fry it straight away. I may have said in old videos, fry it straight away, it's, otherwise it goes gloggy. Well, I'm uh, t retracting that advice and I'm saying leave this for at least 20 minutes to let it soak up all that moisture. And I can guarantee that batter is going to be super crispy and stay crispy even after it gets cold. Okay, so while that corn flour is doing its magic, you can get everything else ready. Cut up your spring onions and prepare the sweet chilli sauce. I do find it's a little bit overpowering and a little bit thick, so that's the consistency straight out of the bottle. I'll just add a little bit of water in there until it's like a nice runny consistency that I like. So this rock has been sitting for about 20 minutes now. We've heated up the rice bran oil in a wok. And I'm going to carefully lower it in. Ooh -wee. Let's see if we get it. I like to just cook it until it's a nice golden brown colour and the fins are really crispy. Turning it a few times, you know, to get everything under the oil. Um, if you have a deep fryer, it's great. You can just dunk the whole thing. They're pretty forgiving, the Rockies. They've got really nice, sweet moist flesh so you're not going to um, really overcook it too bad. Place that rocky right there. Oh, so good. And get your sweet chilli. This on. So I just put a tiny bit of salt on before and just a little bit of white pepper. The final garnish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to join us on future Adreno Sydney spearing episodes. Uh, if you cook us up, let us know how you go. So good. Look at that. Just perfection. You can see why they call them poor man's lobster. Just beautiful white meat. Mmm.